Good day, viewers at home. My name is Dr. Adepojo Ayobola. I'm one of the doctors in Olabisi Onobanjo University Teaching Hospital. I practice endocrinology and diabetes. So today we will be talking about diabetes. Now what is diabetes? Diabetes is a medical condition that is associated with high sugar level in the body. What it does is that it prevents the body from making use of the energy from the food that you've eaten. And it is a very common disease. More than 500 million people are living with diabetes worldwide. In fact, by the time you put about 10 to 11 people together, one of them is likely to have diabetes. And a lot of people who have diabetes, they, don't even, they are not even aware that they have um, this medical condition. Now, what are the types of diabetes that we have? Well, broadly, we can divide it into four. We have the type 1 diabetes, which is quite, um, it's commoner in young age, though it can occur in any age, but it's commoner in um, young age. And it accounts for about 5 to 10% of um, the old diabetes. Then we have the type 2 diabetes, which is actually the commonest cause of diabetes, accounting for about 90% of diabetes. This can also occur in um, any age, and like I said, that is the commonest type, and it is treatable and preventable. The type 1 is not preventable, but it's treatable, while the type 2 is preventable and treatable, and it makes the major bulk of um, the types of diabetes that we have. Then we have the gestational diabetes, which is usually seen in um, pregnant women. And when a woman has gest gestational DM, if care is not taken, such a woman, half of people with gestational diabetes may end up coming down with type 2 diabetes at the end of the day. And even this, um, the child of this mother may also end up coming down with type 2 diabetes. Then we have um, another type that we call other forms of diabetes. And these include other forms of the disease that can lead to diabetes. Now, what are the risk factors? What are the things we do that can predispose us to having diabetes? Well, one of the um, risk factors for diabetes include an increase in age. By the time one is reaching the age of 40, 45 and above, risk of having diabetes increases. Also, if a parent or any of the siblings have diabetes, tendency of coming down with diabetes is quite high. Also, if you're on the big side or you're obese or uh, you're overweight, this can also be a risk factor. If you have hypertension, if you have high cholesterol level, these are risk factors for diabetes. Sedentary lifestyle. Now everything is modernized. Most times we all sit down all through the day. We don't really engage in physical activity. These are risk factors for developing um, diabetes. Also our way of eating. Now we eat all sort of junks. We eat all sort of, uh, we take carbonated drinks and on LD lifestyle, on LD eating habits, lack of exercise. These are things that can predispose, or some of the things that can predispose us to developing diabetes. Also, if you have checked your blood sugar at one time or the other, and you are told that, okay, it is not yet in the diabetes range, but at least it's in the borderline. If you don't take measures at that time, you, you may end up having diabetes. Now, if someone has diabetes, how can this person present? What are the symptoms or what are the things you see? One, you may notice that this person is just losing weight, unintentional weight loss. Not that this person wants to lose weight, but the person keeps losing weight. Also, the individual is urinating excessively, drinking water excessively. They may be prone to all sorts of skin infection. They may complain of uh, eye problems. This person may also come down with um, kidney problem. Some of them may even notice they have a wound ulcer a wound, um, a foot ulcer rather, that is not healing. These are some of the ways in which you can um, diagnose someone of having diabetes. Also, some of them may not even know at all. They may not have any symptoms at all. They may come to hospital for something else, maybe for malaria or for even a pre-employment checkup or something else and realize um, sugar is quite high. Now, how can we prevent type 2 diabetes? Like I said, it makes the major bulk of uh, diabetes it makes about 90% of it so how can we prevent this number one is 
regular blood glucose check. Number two is we engage in exercise. Exercise is very important. It helps us to control our blood sugar. It helps us to control our blood pressure. Also, it helps our total well-being entirely. So exercise is a very um, important aspect of our lives. We should engage in healthy eating habits, reduce red meat. We should reduce carbonated drinks. We should also take more vegetables and less of carbohydrate. Then, if you know that you're on the big side, you're on the big side, I will encourage us to lose weight. This will also help us to control uh, or reduce the risk of developing type 2 diabetes. If you have high blood pressure or you have high cholesterol level, it is important that you control this as well so as not to uh, predispose such an individual into having um, diabetes. I also advise that smoking cessation is important to it stop smoking. This will also help in a lot of ways. How do you treat diabetes? Well, number one, our way of life is very important. This includes watching our diet, engaging in healthy eating um, habits by reducing our carbohydrates, by taking more of vegetables, less of red meat, more of fish, little oil in our food. This will help in a lot of ways in managing our diabetes. Also, exercise is very important. We engage in exercise at least um, it is advocated that you take you exercise at least three times a week about 30 minutes exercise three times a week is very important this may include walking you may jog you may um you may um cycle if you know how to swim you can also engage in um swimming as well then we work on our weight by the time you reduce your weight like i said the other time this will also help in the management of diabetes and we also have medications we have drugs and even if need be we have people on injections to ensure that diabetes is well controlled so these are some of the ways in which we can control diabetes so what are the problems that may arise if diabetes is not taken care of what are the complications diabetes can affect someone it can it can cause stroke it can cause blindness it can lead to someone losing the leg or losing their limbs that's amputation it can cause amputation it can also cause heart attack in some people it can cause kidney damage skin infections mm -hmm. even it can cause all sort of genital infections as, as well um, erectile problem in men are some of the problems that can occur if diabetes is not well taken care of so it is important when you have diabetes you ensure that your blood sugar level is well controlled so as to reduce some of these complications now there are common um, questions that people ask when it uh, uh, comes to diabetes some say oh once you are diabetic or when once you are an individual living with diabetes they believe that what you should start eating is just being moi moi you should just eat uh, wheat and everything well we don't um, advise individuals to do such what we advise is that you live you you engage in healthy eating habit and this involves you eating more of vegetable you still need the rice you just still need yam you still need your amala you still can still take your eba you can still take your inyo what matters is that you take a small quantity a small portion should be taken a small portion of your carbohydrate is what you need and also a moderate portion of your protein but more of vegetable at least vegetable should make uh, half of your plate whether your ugu or whatever type of vegetable you like to take this should take half of your plate and your carbohydrates should be in small quantity some also ask that is it good to take um when i take a lot of sugar or these soft drinks does it predispose me to having diabetes well what i'll just say is that everything should be moderate i would advise that you reduce uh, carbonated drinks especially if you have some other risk factors that I've mentioned like the hypertension and two other things you're on the obese side this can if you continue in this on LD um, sugar intake or, or and other things this can end up predisposing you to diabetes however not taking um, sugar or not taking carbonated drink is not the only uh, way that one can have diabetes 
like I said, if you have a family history, if your parents or your siblings have diabetes, even when you are not taking sugar, you and you have hypertension, you have any of these other risk factors, you may still um, end up having diabetes. So taking soft drinks is not the only way, or is not the only um, is not taking soft drinks is not the only way in which you can uh, prevent having diabetes. So it is, I would still advise that you cut down on intake of carbonated drinks. In fact, I think it's a good thing with um, the federal government adding this um, sugar tax to all these uh, drinks. This, in a way, will help us to cut down intake of carbonated drinks, all these um, drinks. I don't want to mention them. So it will help us to cut down intake of these drinks, thereby reducing obesity, reducing uh, weight gain, and ultimately reducing um, development of diabetes. So another common myth is that diabetes is disease of the elderly. Oh, it's only the elderly people that can develop diabetes. I am here to tell you that that is not actually true. Diabetes can occur at any age. Even children can have diabetes. Diabetes can occur at any age. It is not restricted to uh, being, uh, it is not a disease of the elderly. It can occur at any age. So thank you for your time. Thank you for listening. If you have any other question, please feel free to come um, to the hospital. You can walk into the hospital and we will um, help you out with any question you have. And if you are an individual living with diabetes, I encourage you to please ensure that you seek treatment on time and you take good care of yourself. Have a nice day. Thank you.